I'm coming back to the heart of worship Cause it's all about you I'm sorry Lord for the thing I've made It's all about you So I'm coming back to
Jesus, I see for all that you've done for me. a fresh revelation of what that is to us this morning. His grace, His grace. We talk about it all the time. But really, what is it? It's total forgiveness from past, present, and future. It's healing. Everything that He provided for on the cross is wrapped up in His blood and His body. Whew. I feel like we're supposed to just release, allow the Lord to bring that fresh revelation to us <sighs> even as we start the service. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the well. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the presence of God. I know we all carry the presence, so it's not like you've come to a place where only the presence dwells. No, He dwells in each of us, but when there's something that happens, when we come together corporately, whoa, the pool gets really deep. So welcome online. Welcome to the well. 
Today is your day of transformation. Today is your day of breakthrough. Today is your day of healing. Today is your day to step into a new place where God wants you to be. It's higher. It's deeper. So I'm, we're just going to go right into communion. We're going to celebrate what he's done for us, you guys. I get so excited when I think about what God has for us. This morning, David, just take one second, and would you tell them what you experienced this morning while you were laying in bed? So last night, I I guess I had trouble sleeping. I don't know, but it was like such a peace. Um, but I was like between sleep and I guess I was like partly awake and partly not. I don't know. Um, but all of a sudden, I, I noticed right next to my bed, there was this cloud. And I saw like rainbow colors flowing through the cloud. And it was like a wave coming through. Now, the Lord spoke to me, but I can't remember what he said. I don't know if it was beyond anything. All I knew is that it represented that the glory of God was going to fill this place this morning and that uh, God was already moving before we even got here or like it was he was already preparing the way that wave was for us to be a part of like the getting lost in the glory wave um, so yeah it was like it was amazing and powerful so in pre-rehearsal prayer, we prayed that in for this morning's service. <laughs> this is amazing, Grace. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Carol and Lisa, is there a banner or something we could have a wave up here? We might have to have some guys to help with it because I'm feeling the Lord says, I want you to step into, yes, thank you, um, to come and to, sometimes it's it helps to activate things, to see it and to prophetically act it out. So um, I think they're getting it together over here. Thank you, Jesus. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yeah, let's just center our heart on the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and go in under this if you would like to. We're going to do this before we take communion. This one thing remains on Yeah. 
So when you're ready, you may go, make your way to the communion table. Take your elements. We will take them together. John 6, Jesus says a whole bunch of times that he's the bread of life. But he says some things that are a little um, challenging for a natural mind. Because he says, um, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh, which I give for the life of the world. And then he said, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up in the last day. For my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is drinking indeed. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I am him. As the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so he who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread which came down from heaven. Not as your fathers ate the manna and are dead. He who eats this bread will live forever. And I was looking something up this morning, and I don't know why this just keeps rolling in my heart, but the bread that was on the table in the holy place, the loaves of bread, was called the bread of the presence. And it was a picture. We have the bread of the presence. And it may seem harsh to someone to go, what, cannibalism, eat my flesh, drink my blood? No, it's taking in all that he is. It's taking in all that he's done. And so, Lord, we thank you today that there is not one arena of life that is not covered by what you provide in your life, the life of your body and the life of your blood. And we are so grateful that it's complete, the complete and perfect sacrifice, it says in Hebrews, a perfect and complete sacrifice. That means there's nothing that was not covered and so, Lord, I thank you that as we eat and we drink today, that we can receive everything that we need. So we take the bread, this bread of life, and as we consume it, Lord, we just say, help me to receive everything you're offering to me today. Everything you want me to have, Lord, I say yes. I say yes, I say yes, I say yes. Everything that you want for me, I say yes. Let's eat. And I don't know everything about the blood. 
I have a feeling that all of eternity we're going to see new things about the blood and its power. But I do know that it cleanses me. Lord, your blood sanctifies me and sets me apart to you. Your blood justifies me when I didn't do the right thing. Your blood sanctifies and justifies me, and it washes me clean. The blood of Jesus cleanses us from all unrighteousness. And so as we drink today, we receive all of that. I, I just want to speak over everyone who's partaking. Today is the day that condemnation needs to stop. Yeah. Anything going on in the head that is contradictory to what the Father said has to go. And the Father has said that when you confess your sin, He is faithful and just to forgive your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. So, Father, we're going to drink today, and we're going to receive complete right standing with you. And we thank you for it. Let's drink. This morning we choose to believe it. In death, in life, I'm confident and covered by the power of your great love. My debt, my debt is paid. There's nothing can separate my heart from your great love. In death, in life, I'm confident and covered by the power of your great love. My debt is paid. My debt is paid. There's nothing that can separate my heart from your great love. Your love, your love never fails and never gives up. Never runs out on me. Your love never fails, it never gives up, it never runs out on me. Your love never fails, it never gives up.
out. You're so good. Somebody's got it. Who's got the song? You're so good. Come on. says you can ask for more church if you're watching whatever's going on he says ask you don't have because you don't ask God's God's into you being he's a good dad he wants to give you good things he wants to intercede for you he wants to step into your situation he wants to break chains <clears throat> cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you you're like man I got to work this stuff out then I'll get back to Jesus no right now while you're working it out get to Jesus fast Take it to Papa. Well, no, I can do this by myself. I'll pull myself up by your bootstraps. No, no, no. Jesus is your bootstraps right there. The Lord is your strength. The Lord is your shield. The Lord is your high tower. The Lord is your need. The Lord is your peace. Every good thing about God he has in store for his kids. Don't stand outside the city walls, the king's palace, and wonder why it's not coming to fruit lord what's the matter I'll, I'll get this no don't let the enemy lie and say go out there go get out in the desert and i can kind of i can just work on you the lord says no 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 yes. lord says come right in here get That's in the right. palace right get right here in the right king's in feast yeah we learn lessons from old covenant so that we live in new covenant yeah. it's all good all the word is the word of god but sometimes the enemy will use the word against you Whatever your favorite scriptures. We read Psalms. Leanne and I were reading Psalms the other day. I love King David, but some things that that was then, this is now. We don't do it like that anymore. Oh, Carl, can we say that? Yes, you can, because Jesus said there's a new and a better way. It was pointing to that way. He just, he, he told those stories. It was all written so you could see, like, this is impossible without God. Yes. It's impossible without the Lord. And the Lord says, you're all in the palace. Don't let the enemy lie and say, I, I, I can't go there. No, you are now the kings and priest. He's a good God. He's so good. That's what his people had to remember. They, we have to remember the goodness of God, right? Yeah. Right? Yes. So, Lord, that's why he called us into this place of praise, declaring his goodness, rejoicing, stirring up your joy, ah, knowing who we are. Lord, we are yours. Yes. And you are ours. You are mine. Thank you, Lord. You're a great God. You're a mighty God, Lord. Yes, Lord. So yesterday, I was out putting in my garden, and uh, Callie started barking like crazy. I thought, what is wrong with her? So I kind of stepped out and looked. She was barking and looking at something on the ground. Thought, well, that's weird. So I walked over, and here's this great big snake. And... I was barefoot, and I said, Lord, what do I do? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. You know, a snake gets me in a tizzy anyway. And uh, so <laughs> I 
said, what do I do? What do I do? The Lord said, grab the broom. <laughs> so, and I was going to try to think about getting him away from the house because I really didn't want to kill it. But he started for the garage. And I thought, no, 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 you're not coming in the house. We got 20 acres. You can run out there. You're not coming in the house. So I had to take him out. I'm sorry. I told him I was sorry. But I really felt like it was prophetic. Um, and I just felt like the Lord said, you have to crush the head of the serpent. And I feel that's what's happened in this house since a couple of Sundays ago when we said we are not going to tolerate offense against one another. And God has been healing our hearts one to another and just cleaning the slate. I mean, when you come in, I don't know if anybody else feels this, but you, you walk in and something is different. The atmosphere is different because it's the love of God that is showing, that is um, proving itself in each of our lives. We're walking with a clarity of shine, of his goodness and his grace and his forgiveness. We're walking in that new place because we're extending it to others. So, the Lord just said, sometimes you just have to do business. We're not finished with that business, and I'm just going to tell you something. We're not probably going to ever be finished with it. Because the, Lord, because the enemy will always try to come in and bring division, bring offense, bring whatever he can to get us divided and get us out of peace, out of love. But I'm telling you, with our antennas turned up, and our hearts turn toward the Lord, he will show us how to stay out of the ditch with these kinds of things. Yeah. Yep. Yesterday, Callie was such a good dog. I wanted to go, you're a good dog, you're a good dog. <laughs> but this morning, we're gonna sing, you're a good God. <laughs> You're a good God, you're a good God, you're a very, very, very good God, you're a good God, you're a good God, you're a very, very, very good God, you're a good God, you're a good God, you're a very, very, very good God, you're a good God, you're a good God, you're a very, very, very good God. Here it comes, the glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. This is the time, this is the hour, when His glory comes as a cloud. Just like the priest, days of old, when the priest could not stand in His presence. These days shall become the normal, these days shall have no equal. You're a good God, you're a good God, you're a very, very, very good God, you're a good God, you're a good God, you're a very, very, very good God, you're a good God, you're a good God, you're a very, very, very good God, you're a good God, you're a good God, you're a very, very, very good God. Arise, O sons, with the light divine. See how the darkness covers the earth. A thick cloud is over the people. Well, lift up your heads, lift up a shout. See the King of glory crushing the darkness. Many lost will run to your light, turning their darkness into dawn. You're a good God, you're a good God, you're a very, very, very good God, you're a good God, you're a good God, you're a very, very, very good God. Sing it again, you're a good God, you're a good God, you're a very, very, very good God, you're a good God, you're a good God, you're a very, very, very good God. Only do what's 
right. We declare your glory. We declare your name. of God lives in every one of us. Be 
the frequencies of life out over you and online this is you too we're releasing the healing power the restorative power the redemptive power of Jesus over every single one of you Whew. so I would just say you don't even have, don't even sing just stand there and receive sometimes it's hard to just receive isn't it <laughs> but we're just gonna sing over you and I want you to receive your healing today, your breakthrough. We've, we sung about it. We sang about it this morning. We're going to see it. So we're going to sing, come alive. So come alive in the name of Jesus. Come alive in the name of Jesus. This is a house of miracles. We bring everything to the feet of Jesus. Everything. In the name of Jesus, this is a house of miracles. This is, this is a house of miracles. This is, this is a house of miracles. This is my day of miracles. Make it personal. several. So Father, I just release over my brothers and sisters healing power, healing power, strength, everything that is needful. I speak over them and I release your power over them, Jesus, that today will be a day where they saw the shift. They experienced it. They felt it. And Lord, nothing can change this new place of victory. Victory, victory, victory. Whew. Yeah. Today is the day of my victory. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jesus, for your victory. That's right now being expressed in every situation that is lacking. For Lord, in you there is no lack. Nothing. We lack for nothing. We want for nothing in you. So Lord, if there's something that is showing that is lacking something, Lord, it's not you. So we just go, okay, here, this is yours, Lord. That's not mine. Because I have no lack. I have no lack. That's right. <laughs> In fact, the Lord said, release your lack for his plenty, for his abundance. He says, I want to make a trade with you today. Is that okay? I want to trade your lack, what you experience. Give that to me so I can give you my plenty, my abundance, my heart. My full measure. The Lord says, that's what I want for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> wow. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. So let's just thank him. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. In fact, the Lord says, just try something in your, if it was a physical pain or in your body, try something you couldn't do before. Whew, just try it out. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, 
Jesus. Everybody feel different. Jesus. Yeah. Feel peace. Yeah. Whew. The scripture says one of the stories was, and they were healed as they went. are so full of gratitude for you, Papa. Complete the work, Lord. Complete the work. 